These TMC220 stepper motor drivers are a popular choice for reducing the stepper motor noise on 3D printers and laser cutters. They are particularly useful because they can be used as an almost direct replacement for the A4988 stepper motor drivers, which is a smaller green driver shown next to it. I've heard that people have been impressed by how well they've worked to silence their 3D printers, but I was curious about how much quieter they would be, so I ordered two to try out. They're about $10 each, which is quite a bit more than the A4988s, which you can often get for $2 to $3 each, but you only need 3 or 4 of them at a time, so it's not an expensive upgrade. I'm going to test the two side by side using the same motor so that you can hear the difference. I'll also show the actual sound level readout from my phone as a comparison. Let's set both of them up on a breadboard so that we can compare them. We'll use the same signals from the Arduino to each driver. So both drivers are on the same supply voltage, the same logic level voltage, and are receiving the same direction and step signals from the Arduino. I'll just swap the motor connection between the two to change which driver is driving the motor. You'll notice with the two boards set up side by side that the current limits adjustment part is on opposite sides of the board. So keep this in mind if you do swap your A4988 drivers with the TMC2208 drivers, so that you don't install them the wrong way around. I'm also going to add a 10k part to one analog input so that we can adjust the motor speed. I've also preset the motor current limit on each driver to suit this motor, which has a rated current of 0.8 amps. Let's start with the 4988 driver. You can hear that the steps are quite coarse with the motor turning slowly. If we speed it up a bit it sounds a bit smoother. So running at a medium to high speed, we have a sound level of around 74 decibels on the A4988 driver. Let's change the motor over to the other driver and see what we get. I'll turn the Arduino off between tests so that we're not swapping the motor over while the coils are being energized. Let's turn the power back on and see how loud the TMC228 is. I must admit that when I tried this the first time, I got frustrated that the TMC driver wasn't working, and I kept fiddling around with the connections and power supply until I noticed that it actually was working, it was just completely silent. I wasn't expecting such a substantial difference, I thought it would still make a small amount of noise, but it's literally almost silent at low speeds. If you turn the speed up a bit you can barely hear it. Even at a medium to high speed, we're only getting an increase of around 3 decibels over the ambient sound level. Now to be fair to the A4988 driver, when operating in legacy mode, the TMC2208 driver will automatically interpolate the received step signals to 256 microsteps. So let's try changing the A4988 driver to 16 microsteps, which is the maximum it allows. This allows the driver to microstep the motor 16 times for each full step so it should be a bit quieter and smoother. We do this by putting 5 volts on the 3 micro-stepping pins on the driver. So you can hear it's a lot smoother and quieter. We're now getting a sound level of around 45 decibels, but it's still way louder than the TMC2208 drivers. Here's a comparison between the two ramping the speed down.
So if you're looking for a way to make your 3D printer quieter and it uses A4988 drivers, then this is a great way to do it without having to spend a fortune. Let me know if you've used these drivers and what you've used them for. Thanks for watching, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.